Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Adi Muaz Bey Muhammad Nazamri, and my student ID is two zero two zero eight two zero eight two eight, and from the class MAD one 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 three A. And today I'm going to do my final presentation, which is GDT two one eight. What I can say, what I gain from this, uh, this is a course that teach us about logos so it, it is about logos but not only so it it, uh, it tell us about there is a uh, there's a way there's a steps by steps to make a logo and understanding the company or, or what the client wants uh, it doesn't it doesn't require us uh, it doesn't fully give us the or the, all the power that uh, to create but we have to cooperate with the client in in designing the logo that they wanted what i can say project one from project one we we did the we did analysis on what is a logo uh, so we get an understanding there are many types of logos and many ways that we can do it but even so, there are ways, but we have to make the ways parallel with the client, what the client wants. So it's an analysis on it. And project two, we we make an analysis on the clients, on the client's background and what uh, their strength, weaknesses, or anything about the client. The client has their own image on one thing, and we have to take the knowledge that we gain from the analysis and uh, input it into the logo that we are going to redesign for them. And project 3 is a logo guideline. After we uh, we redesign the logo, we have to put uh, in an instruction for about the logo. Uh, there's a way that we can uh, to use the logo and ways not to use the logos and there's a brief history and some taglines that have qu quite a meaning for it well first off I can say the difficulties that I uh, tend to I can tend to dis uh, get distracted by is uh, decisions making decision is a hard thing to do well as a matter of fact for me at least it is a hard thing to do because I can't pick which is uh, which is the best logo that I created or if uh, so I try to take opinions from other people and the lecturer so I want them to pick but I can't because it is my choice actually so I can't make them but uh, but I can't pick them because I don't know which is good but eventually I overcome that situation because uh, from uh, people's perspective and the lecture's motivation for me <laughs> tutorial videos by, provided by lecture is really good actually because uh, some of the videos that she uh, the lecturer sent us uh, it really helps us uh, to know how to use AI because you uh, from before we we have the knowledge uh, a basic knowledge on AI it, it, Adobe Illustrator but it's very little knowledge the lecturers sent us uh, a, a few videos that a trick that we can do to make our logo look unique like the step uh, the step motive in the logo so uh, I use the video to make my own logo What I can say about this uh, this subject, I'm not the biggest fan or the biggest person uh, about logos. I'm I don't know much about logos, but what I can say is the lecturer herself is a great lecturer. She actually helps me uh, to create a logo and make me understand that now I have m more knowledge than before about logos now and how to create it and align it with my client so it it doesn't uh, it doesn't mean i just have to draw it by myself just draw it like i want it but i have 
to find what the clients want also and the motive behind it. So the lecturer taught me all of that and gave me a, a more of an understanding on it. I would say this subject doesn't require a, a physical class, if I'm being honest, but it is an ODL. So ODL, what I can say that we can use is uh, always make uh, a class or uh, in my last uh, in my last semester there's a lecturer that you utilizes the time uh, for the class so when the class is going the students have to do their work at that moment uh, so they have uh, after listening to the lecture they have to do the work uh, on the video uh, on the time of the class until the class ends they can turn off and continue their work uh, on uh, in other time so uh, I, I think that is a way that students can be motivated to be in a class it's a psychological way to make them think they are learning and uh, like they are in a class a physical class but they are not which is an ODL but it is a way that can make the people be motivated to do the work and more also to put in more um, more of the lecture not the lecture itself but the should tell us the way show us how to make the logo uh, i think lecturer madam khalisa actually did a great job in uh, teaching the lecture i quite enjoy when she uh, show us uh, visually how to make it and how to do it uh, well that is all for me thank you so much for watching this video and goodbye to everyone Assalamualaikum.